Welcome back, I am the Executioner, and today we're going to be talking about drugs. So, what do I think of it? So, as a libertarian, I believe that you have the right to do whatever you want, so long as you're not hurting another individual or their property. So, would you have the right to shoot heroin? Okay, yeah. Would you have the right to drop acid or smoke weed? Yeah, totally. But I think that uh, looking at this from a Hoppian perspective is very interesting. So, in Hoppianism, it's all about decentralizing power. So, People can either live in isolation, which that's totally fine if you homestead, or for buying property, but you can also live in communities, and these communities would be covenant communities with their own uh, rules and their own policy, and under that would be a actual contract you would sign, and if you wanted to live in, let's say, a group of people, and they share your values, all right. So under this framework, you could have a covenant community that totally allows drugs, alcohol, or whatever. But if you have people who are like, let's say, Quakers, for example, who seldom drink, well, you can have a community of Quakers, and if anybody wants to live there, well, they have to abide by their rules, sign a contract, etc. So, it's totally voluntary in that sense. So, in my opinion, the best policy in regards to drugs is essentially allowing the free market to compete and having different communities compete with each other for people, and different communities will have different demographics they want to cater to. It's the same with any business, for example. If you're a marijuana shop, right, you're not really going to shut down because people who don't smoke marijuana don't like it. Well, too bad. Uh, same goes towards bars. Why would somebody who doesn't smoke go into a cigar bar or a cigarette bar, for example? So, in my opinion, the best way to decide this whole drug thing is through covenant communities and voluntary contracts and voluntary communities as opposed to just having a war on drugs or just having it so, okay, it drugs everywhere, you know. So, if people want to decide, hey, we don't want drugs here, that's their right. They can do that. If you want to join that community, and you read the list, and you sign the contract, well, you should have thought twice about it. You moved into a community that didn't want drugs. You could have easily moved somewhere else. So, that's my argument, anyways. Now, a lot of people would say that's an argument of, you don't like it, go somewhere else. But, the difference between that and a state is, with the state, you have no choice in the matter. You have no choice in going somewhere else because it's very restrictive and it's very hard to go somewhere. So, in the libertarian society, there would be thousands of communities you could move. Or you could just homestead a piece of land out in the middle of nowhere and do what you want. So, in my opinion, it's best to let people decide for themselves how they want to handle drugs, how they want to handle those policies, and whether they want drugs in their area or not. So, in a sense, it's a very free market approach. Anyways guys, if you liked my video, please give it a like, subscribe, share it around, and I hope you guys have a wonderful week, and you're awesome.